if you're scared of HPV, you probably should be because, you know, who's explained it to you? What the hell is it? And like, when do you actually worry about this thing? Hi, I'm your local OBGYN. I love women and let's talk about it. HPV is human papillomavirus. It is really confusing because you can't feel it. You can't see it. And for all intents and purposes, it's kind of really tricky to prevent. Uh, what are you supposed to do to prevent it? Uh, don't have sex, get the Gardasil shot, you know, be cautious with intercourse and, you know, condoms and stuff like that. But the reality is that you don't know it's a problem until years after you've had exposure to it. I'm on the railroad. It's fine. Everything's fine. Driving is fine. There's a little bit of like, you know, inequality when it comes to HPV. Why is this? When we first really connected that HPV was a problem for your cervix and for certain parts of health, nobody really cared to like investigate the men. It was all a woman's problem. Like it was your cervix, even though you didn't give it to yourself, it was, you know, your problem. <clears throat> when the Gardasil shot came out, it was yours as a female to get, not a guy's problem. So they, in the beginning, only gave it to women, which now we've you know figured like let's let's make this make sense only people that are getting screened for it regularly are women so it's technically an std it is something that you can get through mucus content it's going to cause abnormal paps genital warts it can cause cancer in other locations like your throat your rectum it can cause warts in other locations besides your genitals so it does have other repercussions down the road but the most people that are getting screened for it are again females and the most people that are doing protective things for it are again females but what you need to know is it's not something that you should be ashamed of because two out of three people that you're walking next to have had an exposure to it. Your best thing is to keep screening up, keep a healthy lifestyle going. And if you haven't been vaccinated, like go that route, like that's a good one to do.